4 p.m. every Wednesday afternoon. Every Wednesday after school, me and my mates would hang out at the local bread shop. Now, we would talk about life, philosophy, our life ambitions, our, our, our goals, our, how we were gonna take over the world. What really happened is that we talked about girls, Pokemon, I wanna be the very best. Dragon Ball Z, the footy, a big, big hit by this cranky man. And we'd make a general nuisance of ourselves. The Vietnamese pork roll was a big part of my diet growing up. I mean, I would save my lunch money. I wouldn't eat lunch so I could go after school and have one of these delicious pork rolls. These delicious Vietnamese pork rolls. I mean, when you have a long, crispy baguette and then you have crisp lettuce crunchy carrot, crunchy onion with some butter, pate, um, three different types of pork, all steamed, and, and, and you just put them all together with some soy sauce and that other special sauce that they have. It's, it's just, oh, it's just, it's so delicious. Good? Yeah. Because I think I'm such an expert in pork rolls, here are some tips on how to eat a pork roll. Tip one, sit down. Trust me, sit down. Tip two, knees apart. Trust me, trust me. Tip three, lean forward. Follow these tips and you will avoid getting the crumbs and sauces all over your lap. Tr from experience, please follow my tips. There used to be a small station, uh, a roll station. Now there are shops dedicated to making these rolls and there are so many different kinds of rolls now. There's the barbecue chicken roll, there's the satay chicken roll, there's the beef and lemongrass roll, there's the crispy pork roll, there's, um, there are so many different rolls and each bread shop has their specialty roll. There's a shop in Marigold that is known for their pork rolls and people line out the door. So if you're in Sydney and you have the chance, try one of their pork rolls, or any of their rolls. Nothing much has changed. I still call my friends up to head down to the bread shop and share, share a pork roll and a drink and a chat. I guess our bread shop is like the barber shop or the hairdresser. It's somewhere where we can just catch up and just reminisce or, or let people know what you're up to.